Hey guys, welcome back to Air Supply on Demand. I'm Jake, and today I'm going to be reviewing the KWA M9 PTP Gas Airsoft Blowback Pistol. I was very, very impressed with uh, what KWA managed to work out with this one. So first and foremost, um, this isn't. This does have the brand new NS2 uh, gas system, so the velocities are a little bit higher, um, actually a lot higher, and they are a lot more consistent. So on average, we were getting out in the field when we were chronographing this, we were getting around 360 to 370 feet per second, even on a uh, even on a cold mag. So um, great field pistol, if you ask me. This would definitely come, you know, set on my side. It also tells me that they are really trying to market this as a professional training pistol. Um, so it would definitely serve a purpose for any law enforcement or military looking for something that they can, uh, that can replicate their own service pistol. Uh, some other features that, that are worth mentioning, it is a, has a full metal frame and slide. Um, and it actually replicates an actual M9 very, very well. Um, when I was on a machine gun crew, this is what I used to carry on my side. And even just picking one up, the weight and even the obviously the recoil is not the same, but um, the way that it functions is very, very impressive. So, even it has a working decocker and also the double action functions too. So, that, that alone just they, they're putting a lot of attention to detail, which I've always found impressive, and that's always driven me to look for going one step further for something that's really going to get me to pick up a uh, pick up a airsoft gun. I guess the one thing that I don't like about the M9 is I find that the the safety is a little bit hard to manipulate being so high. Um, I'm used to say a Glock where it's where it's right there on the trigger or even on even on uh, 1911 where it can be manipulated by your thumb on on one side. So Right there, instead of all the way up on top, I feel like I have to stretch, but I don't know. If you train enough of it, I, don't, I think it'll be second nature. Again, um, the detail just blows me away. Um, I like that even the fact that the extractor has has a red mark for you know, indicating that there's a round in the chamber. Just I don't know, just one more thing that they're adding, which I again I really really dig. Um, if I if you're looking to complete like an actual like modern U.S. Army Infantry loadout, this would definitely be something you want to consider picking up if you just want to add that much more realism to your, uh, uh, to your gear set. 